Well, there are actually some shortcomings of the normal loop. One of the special things about the plain loop is rerunning our program will create a new loop but not stop the old one, which happily keeps looping around and it's very difficult to get hold of it. Now let's listen to the cacophony that is produced when I hit run two times without stopping uh, the execution in the meantime. So we have this one. And if I run once more, so I get the two loops at the same time in parallel, out of sync, sounds very bad. Let's stop it. Okay, and there's one other thing. The loop executes in a uh, ex executes its do end block. That's this one. You remember the code from here to here or from there to there, line three to ten, and then jumps back to the beginning. So when line ten is executed, it jumps back to line three, and over and over again. Well, that's okay, but that means that actually we have no possibility to go beyond line 11. So we'll make a little test here. Let's play 60 here. Oh, let's see how this sounds. Oh, I get one sound at the very beginning. And I, I loop and loop. I never pass by the 60 here again. And if I play a 65 here or add another loop do uh, and let's say we use a synth piano and uh, play a 52 let's say sleep we need to sleep in a loop otherwise we uh, get an uh, a loop which will eat up all the processor power. So let's hear what this sounds like. like this. So we had one times, one time only the play 60, and now we're still looping around this part here from line 6 to line 12, and then or line 13, and then then jumping back to line 6. And this is what we sometimes don't want to do. We never read the code uh, after line 14, particularly this and the other life loop or the other loop, sorry, uh, that is included here is never heard. So let's stop it. And uh, I already gave it away. Uh, <laughs> life loop, that's the killer feature that Sonic Pi has. It's actually a deluxe version of the loop, the life loop. It's quite different from the normal loop in that it runs in a thread. So when I, uh, when I turn this into a life loop, this loop will not looping there forever and just jumping back to line 6 from line 13, but it will put it into another, let's say, parallel mini program on its own and continue executing the code. So let's try it. Let's call, let's turn this into a live loop. Uh, live loops, since they have these special features, they need to have a name. So let's call this baseline with a colon in front of it as a name marker. And uh, well, the play 60, we drop it, the play 65, we drop that too, and we turn this here also into a live loop. And this live loop will be called lead. And let's see how this sounds now. Okay, now we have two live loops executing at the same time. Okay? They don't even have to have the same length. It would be good if uh, 
they are multiples of one another or something that matches in some way. But uh, we're not tied to that even. So, life loops are a really very handy feature. Uh, for example, for live performances, etc. Uh, and we can do lots of things with them. They are also a little bit more difficult to understand and to control, but they are very, very powerful. So we can change, for example, unlike the classical loop, you have seen what happened uh, when we were trying to rerun a loop. Well, there was just another instance of that loop that was created and uh, uh, the old one was still there. It's, it sounded very bad in our case here. We can change the live loop while is it playing. So let's run our two parallel live loops here and make some modification. Let's use the windward lead here. And now I hit run. I hit run here, so you see it. I just changed the synthesizer. Now I use an option. We come to options a little bit later. Sorry, not here. Sustain. Let's sustain the, the tone a little bit longer. a very stable program. You can have your music running for hours, actually. I always read that on, on Twitter when Sam writes that he has made the tests for an entire day or so, and also with a lot more code than we just have here in our uh, buffer. So, now you can go and play around and Go ahead with the next video.